Satyapal Jain, today's court ruling that the suit filed by the Hindu worshippers not barred by the Places of Worship Act or the Work Act. These are complex issues which now are coming before the courts. Do you believe that the court is, the, is in the best position to adjudicate on it given that there are religious sentiments on both sides? And we are a country, like it or not, with one of the largest Muslim populations in the world. We are also a country where there is a greater sense of Hindu assertion. See, by and large, I agree with the analysis given by my very learned colleague, Mr. Dushan Dave, and the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Mr. Mustafa, narrating the order passed by the trial court today in Varanasi. The trial court has given reasons for holding that the application filed by all these five Hindu gentlemen is maintainable. Let's not complicate the issue further. The court has only held today that it is maintainable. Mm -hmm. What will ultimately be the decision, whether they have a right, they don't have the right, and mm -hmm. all that issue will be decided later on. And as Mr. Dushan Dave said, pointed out, I totally agree with him. See, you can't keep issues pending for a very, very long time. More than four crore cases are pending in different courts in the country. That is a fact. That is a statement given by the Honorable Law Minister in Parliament of India. If the Honorable Supreme Court has started deciding these cases, mm -hmm. which affect not only the case in the Supreme Court, but also the cases on the same point in different high courts. They, therefore, I think it's a welcome step. So far as the Varanasi case is concerned, mm -hmm. the court, as Mr. Mustafa was just explaining, mm -hmm. has held in the order that they are not claiming the title. They are not claiming the ownership. And they are saying they had the right to worship till 1993. I feel that now after the order of the trial court today, the opposite party has every right to go to the high court, to maybe up to the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And that is the Indian judicial system. <coughs> trial court, no. district court, high court and Supreme Court. Therefore, the earlier we decide such matters, mm -hmm. because keeping them pending for a very, very long time also can create tension on both the sides. Second, last point will I say, whether it opens floodgates or it, uh, when gates are always open, floods mm -hmm. are also there. Let's be not afraid of floodgates. The courts are bound to decide the issues which are brought before them. That is their duty, constitutional duty. And the law laid, one, uh, laid down by the <coughs> Supreme Court is the law of the land. Therefore, let us Your come to that conclusion. Let the Supreme Court ultimately will decide only when it comes to Supreme Court. And it might take years together. High Court, Supreme Court, and then Supreme Court also sometimes take years together to list the case for hearing. I think it's a welcome step. The court has decided the maintainability. Issue will go to High Court, Supreme Court. You made and the Supreme point. Supreme Court and High Court are bound to decide such issues. Okay, so they you're saying, you're saying even if it takes time, the courts are the best place to decide these issues. But you know, right. Dushyant, the way today... Unless, what... unless, just, a, just a second. See, either both of the parties come to a mutual agreement, mm -hmm. which is unfortunately not possible. Maybe a Hindu-Muslim dispute, maybe even Muslim-Muslim dispute, Maybe even Hindu Hindu temple dispute. There is a dispute going on among different sections of Jains about a Jain temple in uh, Shikharji. So, therefore, it's not a question of whether it's a dispute between Hindus and Muslims, or between Hindus and Hindus, or Shia Munis, or uh, other uh, section of the Muslims. When the matter has come to court, I personally feel court must decide as early as possible. Okay. Dushan Dave, you've got a situation at the moment, hijab case where you've got the Supreme Court hearing appeals against the Karnataka High Court ban now on hijab. You mentioned the Citizenship Amendment Act, three-judge bench to hear over 20 pleas challenging CA. You've got the Places of Worship Act 1991, three-judge bench to hear pleas challenging the, the act itself. All of these cases are contentious politically. All of these cases have a religious dimension. Several of these cases pit in at least these three instances Hindus against Muslims. Should this be a worry that our political system is unable to uh, uh, resolve any of these issues, they come to the Supreme Court. Or acts like the CAA are deemed anti-constitutional by one group which then goes to the court which then takes years to decide on them. Is it that the courts are finding it increasingly difficult to deal with these vexed issues without necessarily their independence being challenged? Well, Rajdeep, I must say with a deep sense of regret that, uh, I mean, time has come when uh, perhaps we should expect the Muslim community to give up their claims in respect of every monument 
we should now allow uh, people to you know offer prayers at taj mahal maybe at red fort and every other place in this country because uh, what aurangzeb did by force of his army i think we are doing it by judicial force in this country where we are allowing uh, you know uh, the status quo to be changed i am personally not very happy about what is happening honestly speaking but uh, if that's what majority wants let's respect the majority the minority should give up all their rights and claims in respect of all these issues and surrender to the uh, you know wishes of the majority that's what we have come down to otherwise fact of the matter is that the 1991 act is a complete answer to reopening any one of these issues be it varanasi mathura or anywhere else and the judgment of the constitution bench of the supreme court in ayodhya case has squarely dealt with that and justice chandrachud was also party to that and they have said very categorically that in letter and spirit now no other further investigation should take place so i am really astonished that justice chandrachud made those observations that investigation can be done and now the learned judge a uh, district judge has said that my investigation shows that the hindus have a better claim than the muslims and therefore muslims have no right to object and the suit is maintainable i i don't think uh, we are i mean honestly speaking i am deeply religious i am a proud hindu i am a proud brahmin but i don't think we need this uh, in 2022 but uh, if that's what majority wants be it nothing can be done about it we have to respect the wishes of the majority i only hope that it doesn't really result in heart burning it doesn't result in uh, you know possible violence in future one would really pray that some good sense will prevail but all these cases as radhib you rightly said they do involve you know political overtones i mean uh, but what can be done these uh, you know unfortunately uh, for some reason or the other mm -hmm. uh, the pot is uh, you know kept boiling uh, i mean hijab for example i mean till 2022 nobody bothered there have been more than you know five times that bjp government said ruled karnataka and they never thought of bringing that kind of a ban in governments colleges and schools why do they suddenly bring it up so i mean uh, these are uh, these are all issues which are avoidable right i have always said on television that bhartiya janta party is invincible today the opposition is unable to really you know defeat them prime minister enjoys an absolutely unparalleled uh, you know majority in this country and popularity he claims to be a statesman and yet he allows this kind of you know a uh, small things to take place which is totally polarizing the country uh, you know from within vertically it's not good for us it's not good for future of yeah. india but what can be done we you're, have to accept what is happening in the country you are in a way sounding a little helpless about what you see happening around you